I think that harmonious communities have a very vital role to play in our fragmented society today. Every Friday and Saturday night we have circle dance and the steps are very often simple. Four steps forward, right, left, and every dance is taught. We draw from all different traditions. In the Neolithic in the early Bronze Age, the circle dance was carried on as a way of keeping sacred time, is what they called it. The steps of one of my favorite dances were found on a vase from 1400 BC. To have a sense of connectedness to the past, to all the people who danced this way before. Same movement, same pattern. In 1990, there were enough people interested in the sacred circle dance here in the States. We had workshops in the Hadley Barn. I think that may be where I actually met Shaker. Several of us, including Shaker and myself, inaugurated the very first week-long circle dance camp in the United States. There are now probably a thousand groups around the world holding sacred circle dance events. You have been traveling and teaching circle dance to different communities. Uh, we traveled all over the United States, parts of Canada, we went to Costa Rica, we went to Europe, taught in Ireland, did a week-long uh, sacred dance workshop. Dance is always been sacred. I went to a circle dance, and I, when I walked in the door and saw people dancing, I knew I'd found a medium. I think maybe in the dance is as close as I ever get to a feeling of transcendence. It's blissful, it's losing yourself in the moment, but for me, beyond those, it's it's connecting. It has a wide vocabulary. It's anger, bitterness, joy, silliness. It's a very wide vocabulary of movement. For me, the dance is just like prayer. It's very hard to put into words, it's more a way of life. The dance goes into my life, everything becomes the dance. Although Hadley soil is famous for its fertility, it's been so abused, monocropped in corn and artificial fertilizers have destroyed the soil structure. So it took over five years to get the soil into any kind of condition. What is this human experiment? Well, it looks sometimes as though we're going to be a well and truly failed experiment if we don't evolve a little further, faster. What were, what were we meant to do here? What's the whole purpose? I'm not going to give you any answers. <laughs> Certainly there are questions that absorb one and, and one can write long, brilliant essays about it in the shower and other places, in the car maybe. Just keep pondering. In the high and outside the air, in the high and outside the hügel, in the high and outside the berge, kehrt deine Kraft 
I think on the large scale, I'm an optimist. That's what spiritual work is about, after all. We have to believe that there's some reason, some reason and purpose to all this. Over my desk, I have a quotation from Krishnamurti that said, to be well adjusted to a sick society is not a sign of good health. I don't do formal practice of any kind, really. The dance, the dance has been my spiritual practice for, oh, 25 years, I guess. I meditate better on my feet than on my bottom. That comes close to bliss when you feel the total entrainment of a group energy reaching, reaching up, not bent on any earthly purpose, but rising. Touchstone has been being resurrected. It would be a terrible loss. It's a kind of spiritual home in this area. We've been going through the death, really, of letting go of a lot, and that a lot has been growing. It's an exemplar, a model for what life should be like on this planet, in this valley. You see yourself participating in things like this, but you're not doing it. It's being done and you are humbled to be, helped to be its agent. You know, the, the dance doesn't end on the platform. Now you go into the, the real dance, which is in the, in the grocery store when you, when you buy something, or on the street when you see the beggar, or just in your daily life. You know, this, is, this is the real world. <laughs> 